because if Brian Kelly, as you well know, is able to convince players more than anything, of course, because that's um, the relationship that he needs to build both in the current player status and then the future players, but the fan base as well, that he's a real guy, a sympathetic, um, engaging type of individual, because if he can convince people of that, because to your point, to your point about the the perception of the you know the Brian Kelly in the twelve degree weather with the frostbitten nose and the the staunch uh, demeanor and all huddled and and stern, uh, if that gets dismissed, nobody questions this man's ability to coach a football team or run an organization no. uh, because he is one of the very best when it comes to those two categories. And if he's able to, yes, show his personality be engaging, uh, be real to the players, then you've got a dynamo. You've got a guy who, you know, I rated in one of the top five coaches in college football. And um, it, it's it's uh, it's going to be interesting to, to see you, uh, you know, kind of form another layer of your perception of Brian Kelly and the way he runs his program, because I know that you were awfully uh, impressed in your first go around uh, during the spring um, uh, our fans, do you think the reasonable fans, there's always going to be the lunatics out there that demand 12 and 0 every year, but do, do you think that there's an understanding that this is going to take maybe a little bit of time to get it to be where LSU is supposed to be? I think so. I think so. Um, from most of the fans I talk to, it's, it's about, realism facts they want to know everything about lsu they don't want any bs they want to know exactly what's going on the vibe the pulse and i think when they look at everything you know how we've been hit in certain areas it might take a few years for like say college football playoff contention things like that um but you know at the same time with evolving rules where maybe the division thing isn't really a big deal. LSU could survive a few losses and, and perhaps still make a, a SEC championship game. If, if they get rid of divisions, that type of a crazy uh, madness could really be beneficial as hell for Brian Kelly and LSU because of just avoiding that where either you beat Alabama each season or you're out basically. Uh, but you know, there's some tough games on the schedule here, Mark. I mean, even though LSU play, I think it's the first five out of six games, basically, at home in the state of Louisiana, um, crazy. But then you've got road tests against Auburn, Florida, Arkansas, and, of course, final game of the year, Texas A&M with Jimbo Fisher, casserole, Jimbo Fisher casserole. We got some casserole here. Oh, Jimbo Fisher. There's something I'm missing there with a casserole. It's just the word I kept thinking when he was doing that press conference. He just, <laughs> okay. we're going to eat some casserole, Saban. Don't you dare talk about my players. I, I just, I don't know. It was hilarious. I just, uh, that Jimbo Fisher to me, just the word casserole comes to mind. I can see it. 